everyone. I'm Simon Boxall in for Donna Bush with your CIG television news brief on this Tuesday evening. Thanks for being here. The Cayman Islands has been experiencing severe weather for the last several hours, and there's been notable damage to certain structures and residences, particularly along the western side of Grand Cayman and in Cayman Brac. Danielle Coleman, Director of Hazard Management, Cayman Islands, spoke on the multi-agency coordinated response on three islands and damage assessments being done. So there's been significant work during the evening, obviously, as a coordinated unit for hazard management and the greater response. Uh, this morning, we've held a strategic coordination group meeting, and that's with all first responders. So police, regiment, fire, um, coast guard. It's, it's a, obviously a multi-agency response to this. So we've seen that the conditions deteriorate quite rapidly during the evening and early morning this morning. Uh, we've seen a lot of damage on the roads. Um, so there's a lot of work to be done. Uh, we've also had to evacuate uh, certain buildings. Um, and so there's, and obviously schools have been closed. So there's a lot of work going on to ensure safety uh, is obviously maintained in the Cayman Islands. But we are seeing issue, concerning things such as people playing in waves and so forth and getting far too close to the coast. And we really do strongly encourage the public not to get close. We appreciate how beautiful the waves are, but at the same time, it really is risking your lives. These waves are incredibly unpredictable. Uh, we're still looking at nine to 15 foot waves here. And that is significant, again, and they are very much unpredictable. So we're strongly encouraging the public to stay away from the coast. Definitely no inland, sorry, in water uh, activities at this time across all three islands. Uh, we are working very closely with the sister islands, obviously, as well. Um, but again, this is a multi-agency response. We need to make sure that everyone in the Cayman is safe. But we strongly encourage the public to do their bit to ensure their own safety so first responders don't have to go respond to the call. X-ray 1 have been in the air doing some aerial reconnaissance being fed back to the uh, hazard management office and again all the stakeholders involved. Uh, so you may see it in the air. Again, don't be alarmed by that. It's just making sure we get an aerial oversight as to what's going on and regarding the flooding and any kind of breaches in, in roads and so forth. But again, we're strongly encouraging the public just to stay safe. Please do your part. Kerry Powery, Chief Meteorologist at the Cayman Islands National Weather Service, provided an update on what can be expected regarding the weather tonight and tomorrow. Uh, the winds are supposed to be subsiding over the next few days and the seas should remain fairly rough throughout the week. Uh, in terms of more currently uh, this afternoon and by tomorrow morning we're looking at uh, 20 to 25 knots moving into 15 to 20 knots more for uh, Wednesday, Wednesday morning. Public advised that shelters have been opened if needed. You're also encouraged to ensure that your homes are structurally sound by conducting regular checks and maintenance. The Cayman Islands folk singers brought their acclaimed Under the Breadfruit Tree concert to the Aston Rutty Center last Saturday, February the 3rd. The choir sang Caymanian classics like Munsey's Boat in the Sound and Conk Na Go No Bone, which made for enjoyable audience participation. There were also special performances by young persons and students from Cayman Brack, including performances in dance, steel pan, and song. The Ministry of District Administration and Lands announced the completion and release of the updated aerial photography layer for the Cayman Islands earlier today. The project, overseen by Chief Surveyor Darren Kelly, was executed by the Department of Lands and Survey, utilizing state-of-the-art technology to capture ortho mosaic aerial imagery. The National Aerial Photography Lair is a critical record of the Cayman Islands for the Department of Land, Lands and Survey and has been updated every four years for over two decades. The imagery serves as a crucial tool for various government departments, including the Department of Environment, Department of Planning, National Roads Authority, and more. It's used extensively for development planning, environmental monitoring, also for documenting changes to the coastline, boundary dispute resolution, court cases, and accident reconstruction. The last update of this scale was conducted in April 2018, making the 2023 aerial survey a significant milestone. The project involved the acquisition of imagery in February 2023 and includes topographical data such as buildings and roads. Turning now to our Tuesday evening weather forecast, the high pressure behind a cold front that moved east of the Cayman Islands overnight continues to produce gale force winds over the Cayman Islands and these conditions will continue through tonight. A gale warning is in effect 
and marine conditions are forecast to be extremely rough. The marine warning also remains in effect and all marine vessels should remain in safe harbour until further notice. And that's it for our Tuesday evening broadcast. Remember to check out the Cayman Islands National Weather Service's website and Facebook page for the latest on local weather conditions. I'm Simon Boxall in Fedona Bush. Thank you for joining us. And if you're watching us on YouTube, be sure to like, share, and subscribe to our channel for all of your key government information. Have a great night, everyone.